Welcome to video 199 in series 3 and now it's time to edit some NPC scripts. Okay, the first one I'm going to edit is the NPC state follow script. So let's go down to the actual follow target method and inside of that just here where we have if npc.myFollowTarget is not equal to null and we're actually setting a destination to that follow target's position so this would follow the player effectively like you know with allies they would have the my follow target as the player if assigned in their uh, state pattern script and then they're going to uh, well start following the player now I want to add in a bit more code here so I'm going to write in here, added for vehicles, a comment, and the code. So just note, I put it after the keep walking call. Uh, and I'm going to say here, if not npc.myfollowTarget.gameObject.active self. So I'm saying if the follow target, the player, is not active, so the game object is disabled, then uh, if vector 3 dot distance npc so supply for that distance calc calculation uh, npc dot transform dot position comma npc dot my follow target dot position and less than 10 so that means if they're pretty close to the player uh, or whatever they're following and uh, it's disabled you know that's the first condition then npc dot transform dot set parent npc dot my follow target dot parent and then return get out of this method so that will effectively say that you know the the player was put in the cabin of the car right so what will happen is then that the npc will see that the player is disabled they're close to the player where their position is uh, even though they're disabled and they will get dumped in the cabin as well and because the cabin is a disabled game object on the car they're automatically disabled and I have lots of headaches resolved automatically for me which is very very good so that's it so nice and easy all right so then uh, the next one is I want to go and edit the uh, NPC state pattern script And currently I'm doing all this stuff in Awake, all of these um, uh, subscriptions to events. Uh, so this has to change now. Now I must use on enable because when I throw the uh, uh, NPC inside of the uh, cabin, they're disabled. So on disable is called. And so all of these subscriptions are deactivated. So I, I can't have it there anymore because once I put the NPCs out of the cabin, there'll be lots of uh well, nothing will work. So none of this stuff, they won't be listening anymore. So I've just cut that all out of awake, these subscriptions. I put them into on enable. Uh, so that is it. There are actually no more NPC scripts to edit, uh, which is nice and easy. And I can just, just quickly run it, just make sure that there are no obvious problems. And uh, nothing's, nothing's showing up, which is all good anyway. It was very, very simple. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. In the next video, I'll start working on the car itself.